Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a complete teardown on a Lenovo Ideal Pad 3. In this disassemble, you get to see by removing the hard drive, the RAM, the battery, the motherboard, the CPU fan, as well as the entire keyboard. All right, let's just jump right into it. I'll be using a Philip PH1 screwdriver. Let's remove all the screws here. You have three screws on the top, three right in the center, and four other screws at the very bottom. It looks like the screws at the bottom are much shorter compared to the other six screws on the top. Once you have removed all the screws, go ahead and open up the back cover I just go underneath using my finger and just kind of pop it right out the back cover is very easy to remove once the back cover is removed you get to see the internal part of the computer let's do a quick walkthrough what you're seeing right now starting from the left this is where you insert the USB and this cable right here transfer it back to the main motherboard CPU fan Heatsink, you have one RAM DDR4 slot, that is your hard drive M.2. This is not a full size, the full size will be extended all the way back here. This is the, I think, mini size or the medium size of M.2. That is your Wi Fi NIC card, I mean, NIC network interface card, keyboard, battery. This is your CMOS battery. This is the laptop battery, the main. This is the CMOS battery where it holds the time and date to power up the, the motherboard. And I believe this is your secondary RAM. So the first RAM slot is here and this is probably your built-in RAM. All right, let's jump right into it. First thing I do is to remove the battery. Let's remove the screw. There are three screws holding down the battery and then you can slide the connector down to remove the entire battery not sure where to buy the replacement check out here it says model L16M 2PB2 that is the DDR4 RAM 4 gigabytes hope you guys can see it 4 gigabytes PC4 stands for DDR4. All you have to do is to push the two side clipper, opens it up, and the entire RAM will just pop right out. CMOS battery. This is your hard drive. The NIC card, NIC. Remember the gray cable is on the top, the black cable here is at the secondary. Slide the uh, NIC card to your 45 degree angle to your left. Just unwind the cable. Because the cable is attached to the uh, LCD screen on the top. This is the CPU fan connector. Slide it to the left. I like to use the push and pull method. So I'm pushing the connector at the same time pulling it off. Be very careful. You're just pulling off a tiny little cable. You do not want to snap that cable. All right, so once you have removed one, two, and three screws here, that the CPU fan would just come right off.
Let's disconnect some of the cable, open up the little clipper, slide that LCD screen away. In fact, we can remove the entire hinge of the, the top LCD. So remove the two screws here. Can open up the uh, the hinge be very careful with this right now because it is not screw in so you just want to push it gently and remove the uh, the screen so the entire screen will just come right off you have the Wi-Fi here on the left and the LCD screen cable on the right back to the motherboard Let's start disconnecting some of the cable. If you want to disconnect the CMOS battery, all you have to do is slide that cable down like such. And this is the uh, keyboard. Open up the clipper, slide that flex cable down. This is the trackpad. Flip, open the clipper, slide it down. The USB port on the left side of that, flip the clipper, slide the cable out to your left and now we can go ahead and unscrew. Two screws here, right next to the DC jack, one screw here on the top one screw here at the bottom and there's going to be one screw hidden right behind this sticker this is the warranty seal sticker you need to remove that and break the seal okay now the entire motherboard will just come right off and it's free to go if you're not sure where to find a replacement, try look out the model here. If not, try look it up here by the sticker. Okay, that is how you remove the entire motherboard. Technically, the only thing left here is the full assembly of your keyboard, trackpad, power button with the USB. Well, I'm sorry, the whole time I thought it was USB, but technically it's an SD card reader and a headphone jack and of course the power button is belongs to this this board right here okay that's pretty much it and the CMOS battery is hanging the keyboard is not replaceable as you can see the keyboard is kind of pre-built into it it's not a separate component where you can just remove the key itself um, the whole full assembly you have to purchase it just like such okay of course you have stickers at the bottom here and um, if you're not sure where to find the replacement parts or the tools, please check the link down description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find some of the, uh, the M.2, maybe the RAM, things like that. Uh, maybe the battery right off the description link to either Amazon or eBay. Okay. If you have any question, comment down below. And again, I would like to uh, take, take, the, take this moment and say that uh, you, if you really appreciate the work that I do and want to support my work and my channel, uh, please click on YouTube Super Thanks, which allows you to share your gratitude, or you can click on PayPal. All right. Again, if not, just smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and that is free. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Take care and bye now. Oh, wait, one more thing I like to mention is the um, the keyboard. The keyboard does not have the backlighting. I believe a different model, they do have a backlighting on it, uh, but this one doesn't have it. So you want to pay attention on the motherboard when you disconnect it. Uh, I believe it's probably, maybe not this one.
this motherboard doesn't have it some motherboard they do have a clipper you need to open up the clipper for the uh, backlighting purpose all right sorry about the interruption bye now